the day is finally here. It's my last day at work for like two and a half weeks. We are going down to London tonight and then tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock is our first flight. It's a 13 hour flight and then we've got a couple hours layover and then we've got another eight hours into Melbourne. Oh, guys. the flight so I think we're about an hour in at the moment and last night we stayed in London so we traveled down to London Heathrow and just stayed in a premier inn with plenty of snacks I'll show you what I've got I got nuts and I know it looks like a lot but I was like even if I keep them for the whole flight and then I've got them on the way back apricots apple squashies we were in the airport we grabbed a big bottle of water because we really we're really normally quite bad at staying hydrated and making sure we drink and everything on the flight so not this time especially because it's so long last thing to show you got a LucasAid orange and peach it kind of tastes like, tastes like peach iced tea but this is obviously good for electrolytes this is the first meal that we've got which is a chicken and a creamy sauce with potato got some like tuna salad a little cake water and some crackers let's try a tuna salad I love a bit of tuna but not sure about it 30,000 feet in the air Fishy on here is we've made it to Malaysia Airport. The bad news is we are now delayed for two and a half hours extra. So we've got about five and a half hours here, but we'll get to Melbourne at 1 a.m. instead of about 10 p.m. Hopefully it doesn't get any worse. It is so foggy here. When we landed, like you literally couldn't see anything, but at least we've made it. The flight was actually okay for being so long, but this is my first time ever like in Asia, I guess, like even just in an airport. I'm not looking fresh. I'm not feeling fresh. We've encountered some issues. Basically, our flight was delayed for two and a half hours, then it got delayed another four hours. So it's been about eight hours since we came off the plane. And then as well, so when we arrive in Melbourne, we're staying in an Airbnb, which is fair, like, obviously it's, it's an inconvenience to the host. I kept updating him with like the times, like we were literally gonna arrive there at like half past four in the morning. He said basically we'll only be allowed to check in at 7 a.m. So when we arrive there, we're gonna have a couple of hours to kill. Got about an hour, 20 minutes. So in like five minutes, we're gonna head down and hopefully get boarded soon. I'd rather just be on the flight, just like ready, you know, cause at least you can start like sleeping because that is the main goal. We've been, so we've been traveling for 24 hours now and we've still got about 12 hours, 10, 12 hours maybe total. So that's exciting. Airbnb. So, as I said earlier, we had to wait until like seven o'clock in the morning, but we just waited at the airport, so it's all good. So, let's give you a little tour. Obviously, it is a bit messy, but you get the gist. A super cute little studio. This is the kitchen we've got. So, we've got a fridge. So, we're gonna get some milk and stuff just to put in for breakfast. And then, we've got our little bathroom, and then just a little bedroom and desk with all my stuff. But it's perfect. It's exactly what we need. When we got in, we did go to sleep, obviously, for a few hours. We were shattered, and it was so difficult to even get up. But we're now gonna head to Woolworths. lunchtime and we were trying to find somewhere that was like oh like really cool in Melbourne to have lunch turns out everywhere was closed and we came to McDonald's <laughs> we wanted to try it anyway because in South Africa we tried McDonald's and then we tried it Amsterdam France 
I've tried New York, everywhere I've got tried. Yeah, a few different places. So I'll show you what I got. Chips, we've got 10 nuggets. I got a Coke, orange juice, Big Mac. I went for a little, at home, normally I get like a chicken mayo, chicken, like chickens, about that. I got a chicken o cheese without the cheese. Taste test. the shop had a look in H&M. The H&M here is stunning. It's mass. It's literally like a museum. And then we also went into Cotton On because when we were in South Africa, Cotton On was our favourite shop and it's just, the stuff is gorgeous. And Luke did get a couple of things. But we're now heading to another big like shopping mall kind of thing. It's called Emporium. So we're going to have a look around the stores, but to be honest, we're both flagging. Like, we're both absolutely shattered. So I think after we've had, we've had a look around these shops, we're then going to go go back and chill. And then, obviously, we'll do food and that tonight. But Luke said earlier, like, just you know, have a chill day just before we... Don't want like, to ruin the other days, because like, tomorrow we're on a tour and stuff. So I don't want to ruin the others just for like this one day. It's gorgeous here. so sunny. It's like 22 degrees. But this is the hottest day out of all of the days in Melbourne, like tomorrow it's actually like 15 degrees, so definitely making the most of it. Okay, this is, it gives, it gives Arndale vibes. As I said, tomorrow we're going on a tour for the, literally like a good 12, plus our day tour because we're going to like a little island with like little penguins and I think it's like cool like a little sanctuary with like peng penguins, koalas I want to say kangaroos, but I'm not too sure. I'm not sure if there's lunch, and I don't want us to obviously not have lunch. So we picked, went back to Woolworths and picked up some stuff. So actually, well, we got cheese and onion crisps. This is for now, but uh, how it is. Luke got a chicken BLT. I got a ham, cheese, and tomato. Haribo's bag of mini apples. Everything is packaged so cute as well. Like in the UK, they wouldn't care about this. Melon mix. Fruit and veg looks way cool. I'd yeah, the fruit and veg, it just looks so aesthetic. It looks like in in America, there's, is it called Trader Joe's? There's this like food and food and veg shop and it looked like that, like everything was fresh. There was loads of like green, just like fresh stuff, but kind of expensive. Protein bars and a couple Australian things to try. Dream chocolate bar, Kit Kat with Milo in. Now Milo we have in South Africa and that's what we picked up this morning. We got, the Milo cereal. Got some juice for the mornings because we've got because we've got a kitchen, so we're gonna have breakfast in. I feel like Australia is people are extra expensive, which it is. But I think specifically, it's like stuff like this. It's more like your fruit and your veg. And to be fair, these are like two pound for like a little bar. Plan now, we're just gonna chill. I'm gonna do some editing because this video is going live on Wednesday, and obviously we're still here on Wednesday, so I'm trying to edit the days as we go just to kind of keep up with it. So we're gonna do some editing. We haven't even been here for 12 hours, but my stuff is literally everywhere. So I'm gonna put stuff away to save the stress because that stresses me out just looking at it. on our trip and our first stop is at it's called Brighton Beach so obviously aka Brighton UK I'm sure Brighton UK would have been first uh, I'm not yes on that. don't know it is literally just a beach with all these like bright like sheds <laughs> sheds. Yeah. sheds I feel like you see these so often in the UK but maybe nowhere else so I think it's more of like a novelty here I actually didn't really realize we were coming to the beach so I'm not really 
looking like I'm ready for the beach, but <laughs> this is my beach foot. Look at him! Ah, uh, this is a wombat. Aww. He's like a bear. This place called Moonlit, San Moonlit Sanctuary, where there's wombats, koalas, kangaroos. kangaroos. Oh my gosh. Not me just tripping up. Cheese and crisps. The best flavor, mm -hmm. but Luke and I were saying like we actually can't believe we're here. Like I just like I just I don't know. Like I just like doesn't feel doesn't feel real. I'm having such a good time, so much fun, and we've got so much exciting things to do. Mm. These are so good. We're back into the koala place. We go. I'm actually so excited. <gasps> so no, because these are actually the cutest. You can do like koala like encounters here so you could like touch oh, them, I think. But because we're going as well in Brisbane, we're going to Australia Zoo. We are going to wait and do it there, I think. Oh, stop. The way he's sitting right now. The little broski is, so, is so cute. So we've spotted a kangaroo and there's a baby one next to it. later I think since the last vlog and we are currently going to get some dinner in I don't know I don't know where we are but there's quite a few options but I think we're gonna go for Chinese but I went for Peking chicken and we got an egg fried rice and then Luke went for deep fried chicken which we're waiting for but we weren't you're not allowed to film the penguins because basically it like hurts their eyes and they might like forget where their home is they were so small and they were so cute and they're just like waddling along and they had like it was all lit up so there was like a penguin highway and they all like came past you and yeah it was really really cool really really fun but that guys is the end of the first australia vlog there is two more coming so stay tuned for next wednesday and the wednesday after but if you enjoyed don't forget to go and leave a like subscribe and i will see you next time love ya bye